Hey everybody, it's Todd with Johnny here, and it is day two of the ICAST convention. And now that the uh, exhibit floor is open, we're going to begin our walk around the convention floor, check out some of the new lures, see what they've got going on. So let's go ahead and get started with that right now. Cowboy Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! And that one. Hooked. Hey, everybody. It's Cowboy Johnny here. We are on the floor, everybody. So we are on the floor of the convention here so you guys can see so what we're going to do here is start going around to some of these booths checking out what they got and we'll just see what's going on all right all right everybody here we are at 13 fishing so we're going to go in here and take a closer look and show you some of the stuff here that are the poppers the walking baits so there you go Warthog, El Diablos. All right, keep on moving around here. I mean, maybe not. You know what I mean. There are those spin walkers that we talked about. Well, I talked to like the guys. Shadow spins, everybody. Shadow spins. Check that out. The motorboat. That's a nice little top water lure right there. The motorboat. Here's some of their plastics. Some of their plastics right here. Check out all of their hard designs right here. This is what their designs are based on. So that you guys can see them. Show you these designs here. More of their, these are more of their plastic designs right here. And then here are their creature baits, man. I always like a creature bait. There's one there called the lunch bug. All right, there we go. More lures right here. And here are some of their swim baits. I'm still trying to get into the whole swim bait game here, everybody. But these are nice right here, man. They are nice. All right. So there you go, everybody. There we are, 13 fishing, everybody. All right. All right, everybody. We're over here at 13 fishing. And just show you guys some of the lures here. But I, what I got here, what's special is I got Matt here. And Matt's going to explain to us that trash, what do you call it? What, what's the name of that frog? It's called a trash panda. Trash panda right here. And you guys seen it on my channel, but now I've got a guy here who knows to deal with it. So go ahead, Matt. Tell us about that frog there. So the trash panda is our, uh, oh, oh. this one, this particular trash panda is our walking version. Okay. And the design of this bait was intentionally to help you walk the frog. Not only does it hop, you can pull, you can drag it, but it's really designed to, to walk with ease. Um, the other stuff that we have is we have these these hooks, and they're not positioned normally to lay flat. They're positioned in an upright position, so when a frog gets bit, you're going to have a better hook set. Okay. On the bottom of it, we have the shrink wrap, and a lot of people wonder why we did that, and it's for two reasons. The, the first reason is to hold the hooks in place so they don't spread out or anything, and that will keep the fish on longer. And then the second thing is it's, trunk, it's shrink wrap around the weight, and the weight's internal, and that prevents water from coming in. The material is rubber, too, so that rubber on rubber will make it sealed better to help prevent water to come in. And then the other thing is, we have the blowhole on top. And the reason why we put that up there, as you're going through lily pads and grass and everything, the, the bait's gonna compress. If it's on the bottom or on the back, it's gonna suck in water every time that compress. So we put it on the top to help prevent that. So it's one of the very few frogs out there that actually helps prevent water from coming into the bite. It's not 100%, but it's way better than anything else in the industry. Okay then. All right, Matt. Well, hey, Matt, thank you so much. This is Matt with 13 Fishing. All right, everybody, we are over here 
at the Z-Man booth. And we're gonna take a closer look here at some of their unique lures here. Now I'm sure you've seen a lot of their lures already, but we're gonna see what's something here that we got different. So let's go ahead. All right, everybody, here we are over at the Z-Man. The Z-Man baits here. As you can see, Z-Man's got their own little swim bait right now with the keeper on it as well. So just wanna show you guys, look at that right there. Z-Man, so I'm sure that's going to be fun right there. All right, here, there are those poppers. Here are there. Also, here's some more of their swim baits right here. Show you guys. They even come in the shrimp pattern now. They even got that going on. Of course, they got their Z-Man frogs right here. The Z-Man frogs, and of course, loads and loads of their soft plastics right here. So I wanted to show everybody those soft plastics right there. Look at these big old, these are monstrous swim, plastic swim baits down here at the bottom. Those are at least eight inches right there. So those are pretty big as well. Show it to you right there. Okay, all right. All right, everybody, here is the tank where they'll be doing some lure testing at here. Here, here are some of the, we're looking here at some of these bass that are in here, in the tank. So that you guys can see, they got even, they even got a gar in there. So that's pretty cool there. And they've got, got crappies in there as well. These aren't the biggest bass in the world. These aren't the very, well, that's a nice one. There's a pretty good one right there. That was a decent sized bass right there. Not the biggest fish in the world. But here is the actual, if I back up, here it is. So they'll stand up there on top there and they'll be casting out across here. And with any luck, we'll actually see something actually come up and take a strike at it. But I don't know for sure, but we will see and I'll bring you guys some footage of that whenever that happens. All right. All right, everybody, we over here. Scum frog, snag proof, man. All right, here. So let's go ahead and get in here. Look at some of these frogs they got here. Look at that right there. Very nice, man. Look at that right there. Kind of a popper. Nice little frog there. Nice little frog. Right there. There we go, man. These are all the newer frogs that are out. Okay. Little big frog right there. And there's another one right here. Okay. Once again, there it is right there. A nice soft one right there. One thing about scum frogs is that they are really soft. They really got nice design and nice look to them here. So I just wanted to show you guys that frog. All right. All right, everybody. Here is Bobby's perfect frogs right here. Bobby's perfect frogs right here. And then fat frogs here. And these right here actually even look like a mouse. They even make you think about a mouse when you look at them here. Let's hold this up here for a moment. Look at that right there. Makes you think about a mouse when you actually look at it. Super soft. And it definitely has a great look about it. And there they are. All right. All right, then. There it is right there. One of the softest frogs out on the marketplace. All right. Oh, yeah, JT. Burns them up here. There we go, man. Really nice frogs here. All right, all right, all right. Here are some Ned baits here, just so you guys can see it. Ned baits, Ned baits right here. Ned baits, Ned baits right here. Just so you guys can see those right there. All the Ned baits here, if that's what you're into, wanted to show you guys those. All right, everybody, here we are over at Ketchco. This is where all of those boxes are, mystery tackle boxes. 
mystery tackle boxes for you guys that love those mystery tackle boxes here it is over here so this is something that you like here is all of that definitely 1000 fishing right here all right oh here is that head hunter that was being featured it's supposed to take over the dark sleep so we'll see i don't know if it will or not but once again i'm going to take you in a little closer there so you can see it so you can take a closer look at that right there there it is right there and then they've got their frogs as well all right Okay, everybody here is the Guggen stand over here with that revolter and their poppers. All right, everybody. We got their, their actual, their chatterbaits and their frogs as well. Okay. And here are their swim baits. Okay. All right, all right, everybody. Okay. And their rides over here. All right. Okay, everybody. We're over here by Berkeley, and Berkeley's been doing with that that new swim bait that's come out here, and we want to take a look at that and see what we can see with that lure there. So, all right. Then we got a bunch of new stuff, but one of the coolest new products for 2021 you're going to see anywhere is in the Berkeley booth here. It's called the Powerbait Gilly. We work with Mike Iconelli, who's an iconic fisherman, great designer, uh, been around the industry forever and a day, right? We partnered with Mike on this new design called the Gilly. It's got a whole bunch of new features that you've not seen in the bait in North America before. Some Japanese influence pulled into here with our technologies like HD True Color with the, uh, the way that we can compile and put together actions, different molding parameters, all put together into this brand new bait called Starbait Gilly. Comes in three sizes, a 90, a 110, and a 130. And again, in a whole bunch of cool colors, the fast centric colors like green pumpkins and uh, uh, HD colors like the bluegill that you see here, perch, warmouth, uh, crappie. So when it comes to matching the hatch from the size, color, action profile, that's everything you need. It's as real as it gets. It's as real as it gets. There you go. You heard it first. Get NCV. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, all right. Thank you. And when you run it through the water there for me, sir? it is everybody looking like a dead bluegill trying to get away or a hurt one <laughs> all right yeah man yeah, it looks good all right there you go look at that oh my goodness you know one of the biggest challenges i think like i have a i have a youtube channel top water johnny all right everybody we over here at Savage Gear, so we want to make sure that people get a chance to check them out, see all the stuff that Savage Gear's got to offer. There's that octopus up there that people were talking about that they were referencing, and then their swim baits, more of their swim baits and their lures here. All right, more of their creature baits here, everybody more of their creature baits here and then here are their swim baits all right all right all right all right there we go there we go there's that ned lizard everybody that i've been fishing with in my video really good looking lure works really well okay all right, everybody, I got Nick here, Formative Fisherman, talking about right, this guys. new one coming out. Check this out. This is the new Savage Gear Duratec Toad right here. It's going to come with its own hook. This is a wider and heavier soft plastic frog. A lot of people use soft plastic frogs just as trailers for their buzz baits and stuff because they don't have a lot of weight. We made it heavier so you can bomb it in the wind, 
It is TPE, so it's almost indestructible. This is gonna last you a ton of freaking fish. Super soft, when they squeeze down, they're gonna get that single hook so you can leverage them. Way more effective. My favorite thing, if you guys don't know about me, I'm a skipping machine. So I said, dude, I wanna make a skipping bait that anybody can skip. I will put money in, my name on the line, that you're not gonna find a bait that can outskip this bad boy. All right, man. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely. All right. All right, everybody, we're over here at Lunker Hunt, and we're going to be checking out the newest lures here. And as always, here is that that lizard that we were talking about. All right, everybody, here is the Lunker Hunt lizard right here, just so that you guys can see it here. It's got actually frog hooks right here in the front, and it's actually soft in the front. It's actually got a little, like I said, there, there's a stinger hook right there in the back everybody and you can see it's a full body full body right here you can see the design right here the look of it and here is it so you can wake it you can crawl it and it even will and the arms will actually move back a little bit when it's moving through the water column as well so here's what it looks like when it's in the box and here it is on the sides here so there you go everybody there is your closer look at the Lunker Hunt Lizard. All right.